Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Today's video is going to feature the Blooming Frame card front, which is this die here. So you can see the stitched detailing and it cuts out all of these leaves and leaves you a nice little space in the middle for a sentiment. You can see here. And then I'm also pulling in the Hey Friend, which is a stamp set that was designed to coordinate with that thin cut. I have some retired, freshly baked, they might still be available. I picked these up in the flash sale, but lots of cute little designs and shimmery goodness going on there. I have a card base. This is my sample my mocha ink, and I already mounted my little stamp. I'm going to clear some things out of the way because I want to show you another way to use um, that thin cut. Instead of cutting everything out, I'm going to bring in my, my spell binders. I have that out of the way. Hopefully I'll have the right sandwich. Um, I have my bottom plate. And I think I just need this embossing pad. So this is a pad that came with my Spellbinders die cutting machine and it allows you to turn dies into embossing images for lack of a better word. So I'm going to take piece of this is glacier cardstock and I'm going to place it on there I am putting this at a bit of an angle just to lighten the load on that um, boy that's really shadowy let me see here oh so much better sorry 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 I'm not gonna start over um, I do have the embossing plate and I'm going to place that on top and you can see here that it didn't punch out the images. What it did is it just embossed with it. A few of them are a little closer to cut out than others but um, I think that overall it does a nice job. So that pad will absorb the pressure. I'm running it through. And voila, isn't that fun? I love that. It's a nice way of um, getting another use out of something like this that cuts out all those images. And the beauty of it is, I don't have to glue those things in place. <laughs> Sometimes I have lazy moments and I don't wanna do all of that get this out of the way and the next thing I need to do is I need to do some trimming on here now I could do it with a pair of scissors and maybe that's what I'll do you can also get it onto your I don't know whatever kind of cutter that you like and I can see here that this one is a little wonky but if there's a little ridge you can see that little ridge right there, and that's what you're going for as far as cutting. I can pull in my little trimmer and line it up top and bottom here, get it lined up. Give it a little trimmer -roo. Just go all the way around here. And this is that first section that I trimmed with my scissors, but I'm not happy with that. Okay, so we've got our, our base. We're going to do a little stamping. I'm going to put the hay friend on there. Hopefully this works out well. I just re-inked this. It was a little dry. So I'm gonna go down, let that ink transfer, pull it up, 
looks good. I'm happy with that. I do have a card base. And more. where did I go with it? Oh, here it is. here. These are all of the different images that come on there. So lots of nice different sentiments. Really nice. Here's card base. And I'm going to use some glue. I hope that it's going to be running today. May not. This is going to be one of those videos that is a hot mess. Okay, that glue is not coming out. Plan B it is. Take some tape runner and run it along. I'm going to go all the way around the edge. This is my ATG gun. I'm going to put a couple of strips in the middle. Ooh. When that does, when it, on an ATG, when it does that, when it, you're not getting any adhesive, it's because it's hasn't broken loose from that release tape. So then you just have to pick it off of there and get it going again. So we've got lots of adhesive on there and I'm going to stand this up, get it on there. That's all there is to that. We do have some glue dots. These are big ones. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my nonstick scissors to trim it a little bit and ball it up and I'm going to sit it where I want to put an embellishment. So I've got a couple of them going here. And I think these are sticky backed embellishments. The problem I have with them is that the sticky sometimes doesn't stay sticky. And it bums me out. So I'm going to do a little heart. And I've got one of the little glittery circles. And then I'll do a big glittery circle up there. And that just adds a tiny bit of glimmer to the card. Just enough to make it a little bit fancy, but nothing too crazy. So that is how I like to use these large panels as an embossing folder of sorts. Isn't that neat? Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed crafty day, and I will see you next time.